the internet is a big place full of resources that can be harnessed for learning and some other stuff. And sometimes you want students to work on their research skills and look for reliability and bias and do all of that. But other times you just want to give them the resources they need. YouTube has a great tool for that called Playlists. It allows you to put videos together based on a topic or a number of other criteria of your choosing and collect them all in one place. There's many reasons that you would want as an educator to create playlists and use YouTube playlists for yourself and for your students. Chapter two of my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom, is all about curating with YouTube playlists. You can really use playlists for anything. Maybe you want to start making a playlist of certain curricular topics and just for yourself so that you can draw from them and use them with your students. Maybe you have a playlist about hooks, things that will get your students into a new lesson. Maybe you are actually creating playlists for your students. Maybe it's to differentiate. Maybe you make multiple playlists at different levels and send students in different directions. Or maybe you are making an extension playlist so that when students are finished with something, they can move on and learn more about the topic and go deeper into it. Personally, my two favorite playlists are my learned on YouTube playlist, so I never lose something that I just learned how to do and I learned it from watching a video. And the other one is the don't make me repeat myself playlist where I put student processes and procedures so that if students forget how our class operates, I can send them to watch the video instead of repeating myself again. The functionality built into YouTube playlists, the ability to reorganize, to reorder, to add your own annotations, to write a description that explains what the videos are for, make playlists a pretty flexible tool for teachers and students alike. If you think YouTube playlists are something that you want to start using in your own classroom, in your own teaching, well guess what? I've got a playlist about how to use playlists talking about chapter two of my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom, that'll help you to get started. I hope you'll check it out and thanks for watching.